graphic to show that if you're suffering from this, maybe these are some of the symptoms you're going to be feeling, and that would be neck pain, uh, numbness, Claudia, or tingling in a hand, arm, foot, or leg. Very common, right? Exactly. And, and those are, you know, and I know you're going down the list, one of the things that sometimes patients, you know, that's like the list of importance. They start with a pain, then they start having numbness and tingling, and, you know, with core exercising, sometimes we have patients come back from rehab and they're like, you know what, the numbness and tingling has dissipated. You know, pain is no longer going down my, my arm or going down my, mm -hmm. my elbow. So all of those things, you know, put together will be able to help. You know, and as Dr. Mena had alluded, there, you know, the more aggressive you get with treatment, you know, the better, you know, sometimes patients feel going back, of course, to core exercising, which is very important. Right, and there were a couple more, and the, the last one I think is, is pretty serious, and it can bowel, be... Yeah, bowel and bladder, and people... Bowel and be, bladder function yeah, problems. And people will be thinking, like, why bowel and bladder and have a problem in the cervical spine? So the, what happens is that in the cervical spine, remember, all the nerves are running in the, in the cervical spine. So if you have a problem in the cervical spine, everything can be shut down. What happens is the bowel and bladder are the S nerves. So those are the last nerves in, within the spinal cord or the, or the nerve that actually they're supplying that they're coming out from the spinal cord. So basically getting a, a bowel and bladder in the spinal cord, meaning, that means that all the nerves already are being shut down or are being compromised. So normally we'll start in the arms, then the, the legs, the trunk, and down the last one will be the, the bowel and bladder. So if you have incontinence bowel and bladder, um, along with neck problem, numbness, tingling, difficulty walking as well. Remember that you're talking about the different the nerve that are in the neck um, that are controlling the whole body. If you have difficulty walking or you're balancing issues, that's a really uh, that's a main concern.